The sixth ranger is an extra member who is part of the team, but at the same time can be a lone ranger. It all depends on the ranger and each season since sometimes the sixth rangers are people with a complicated history and past. In this list you will be able to see all the sixth rangers and those rangers that do not appear in the list are not yet officially catalogued as the sixth ranger. Remember that being the sixth ranger is not necessarily the sixth member of the team, Sometimes sixth rangers have been the seventh member of the team, or perhaps the fifth member of the team, but still considered the sixth ranger. This sixth ranger category is no longer about the number of the members, but rather about what that particular ranger's role entails. Let's start with Tommy Oliver, the first sixth ranger in the franchise and the one who made the most progress being a sixth ranger as he later became the leader of several teams. Even though Tommy was the team leader being a white ranger in the second season of Mighty Morphin, he is still considered a sixth ranger in that transformation and in Ninjetti's transformation. So we can say that Tommy was a sixth ranger in all three seasons of Mighty Morphin, but then in Zeo he stopped being a sixth ranger and became a regular member of the team. Then, in that same season of Zeo, the sixth ranger was the gold ranger and this transformation was used by Trey and Jason. The one who used this transformation for the longest time in the series was Jason, so we will talk about him. Jason started being the first leader of a power rangers team and is considered one of the most powerful rangers in history. This is why he is offered the gold ranger power since not everyone can control this power. In Turbo we didn't have a 6th Ranger, but in In Space we had Zane, the Silver Ranger and one of the most beloved of the whole franchise. Although many years have passed since the premiere of this series, this Ranger is still very famous and recognized by all the fans. This Ranger had a personality with a good sense of humor and liked to make fun of his enemies. Then, in Lightspeed Rescue we had the Titanium Ranger, the first sixth ranger to not have a corresponding Super Sentai counterpart. Since he doesn't have a Sentai counterpart, Ryan appeared in very few episodes. Most of his scenes showed him not transforming and looking for a way to stop the demons. Sabans also didn't have the budget to use both Sentai footage of the five main rangers and new footage of the six rangers. In Time Force, we had Eric, the Quantum Ranger and one of my favorite Sixth Rangers. This Ranger, besides being considered an official Sixth Ranger, was also considered an official Red Ranger since he participated in the Forever Red episode. Another thing that this Ranger accomplished is that he is the first Sixth Ranger to get a Batlizer, plus there are only two Sixth Rangers to have this and he is one of them. Originally, Eric was supposed to die, like his Super Sentai counterpart, but this was later changed because upper management was not satisfied with the original ending. Later in Wild Force came Merrick, the Lunar Wolf Wild Force Ranger, one of the most beloved rangers by the fans and I must say that he also has one of the best helmets of the whole franchise. Merrick is one of the oldest known rangers, having lived for at least 3000 years. There are very few rangers that have facial hair and Merrick was the first ranger to be shown with facial hair. In Ninja Storm, we had Cam, the Green Samurai Ranger. Of all the sixth rangers and all the additional rangers on a team, this ranger was the first to join his team early. He is also the first advisor to later become a power ranger. Then, in Dino Thunder we had one of the most famous sixth rangers in the franchise, Trent, the White Dino Thunder Ranger. The design of the suit and helmet of this ranger has become one of the most famous of the entire franchise and that design is spectacular. This ranger has a story very similar to Tommy's since he started out as a villain, but then joined the Power Rangers team. Trent is one of the cases in which, despite being the fifth member of the team, he is still considered a sixth ranger. 
In Power Rangers SPD, we had Sam, the Omega Ranger, who was a ranger that came from the future, but already knew the team as they had helped him when he was younger. This was the first Omega Ranger we have been introduced to in the franchise and his weapons from the future were a big shock to the fans. Later in Mystic Force, we had Dagoran, the Solaris Knight or also known as the Solaris Ranger. He was not considered a ranger at first but was later recognized as the sixth ranger of the team. This ranger is also one of the few rangers with a beard in the entire history of the franchise. He is considered one of the most powerful rangers in history since his power comes from the sun. In Operation Overdrive we have Tizen, the Mercury Ranger and even though he has a great name, I think many will agree that this ranger may be the one to take the prize for having the ugliest suit of all. Tizen is the only male Overdrive Ranger who never wore the Defender vest, however, his Japanese counterpart did. Then in RPM, we had siblings Gem and Gemma, both of whom were the Ranger Operator Series Gold and Ranger Operator Series Silver. Gemma has been the only female to be a sixth Ranger in the entire history of the franchise so far. It is also the first time two Rangers are considered to be the sixth Ranger at the same time. In Samurai and Super Samurai, we have Antonio, the Gold Samurai Ranger, who can control the element of light. This was one of the Rangers who also appeared in the special episode to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the franchise. Then, in Megaforce we have Robo Knight, who was originally intended to be the protector of Earth, built centuries ago by Gosei with powerful weaponry, sharp reflexes, the bravery of a lion and an unwavering commitment to his mission to protect the environment. However, Robo Knight went dormant and did not awaken until the 21st century, when the planet itself somehow commanded him to awaken. In Super Megaforce, Orion took the place of the team's sixth ranger as the Silver Ranger. This ranger has become one of the most famous rangers due to his attack that utilizes the power of all the sixth rangers in history. He is also ranked as the sixth ranger who stayed the shortest time in his ranger tenure with only 14 episodes. Then, in Dino Charge we had Sir Ivan of Xander which is the Dino Charge Gold Ranger. This ranger later became the Green Ranger and also the Blue Ranger. The Power Rangers costume of the Gold Ranger does not match the color of the Sentai version. In the Japan version, the suit is bright gold, but in Dino Charge, the suit is light yellow. It makes it clear which images of him are original and which are Sentai images. In Ninja Steel, we had Aiden or better known as Levi, which is the Gold Ranger. The name of this ranger and the name of the episode in which he debuted which was Gold Rush, were references to Levi Strauss, the founder of the first American jeans company and pioneer of the California Gold Rush. Later, in Beast Morphers we had Nate Silva, who was the Grid Battle Force Gold Ranger and the creator of the Grid Battle Force Silver Ranger named Steel. Both are listed as the sixth ranger in this team, and it would be the second time this has happened in the franchise. Then, in Dino Fury we had Ian who is the gold ranger of the team and part of the first team the Dino Fury had when they arrived on Earth. This was the last sixth ranger of this universe as now the franchise is going to have a reboot and even though we had the orange ranger in Cosmic Fury, Still, Ian continued to be the 6th Ranger of the team. If you like the 6th Rangers, like this video and subscribe to be the 6th Ranger of the Power Rangers.